Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. You want to find the area bounded by the curve r equals to k theta and the lines theta equals pi over 2 and pi. So the curve, you want the boundary lies between pi over 2 and pi. So we know that we want to set the boundary between these two values. So we write down the formula a equals to half times r squared d theta and the r squared is k squared theta squared. So we just plug in the value and after integrating it, we will obtain k squared over 2 times theta to the power of 3 over 3 and we substitute the boundaries into theta and we obtain a value of 7k squared times pi cubed over 48 that is the area of the given region. And finally the last question it asks us to do three stuff. The first one is to sketch the curves r equals to 1 plus cos theta and r equals to root 3 sine theta. And we have already known the shape of the curve. So for r equals to 1 plus cos theta, the shape is a cardioid. So it somehow looks like a heart shape but drawn horizontally. And the second curve is r equals to root 3 sine theta. So it's just a vertical circle which lies on the y-axis. The second question asks us to find the points where the curve meets. So the curve will meet when both equations are equal to each other. So we let the first equation equals to the second equation, which we have 1 plus cos theta equals to root 3 sine theta. And then we use the identity of sine and cos to evaluate out the common points. So for sine theta, we'll be using this identity sine theta equals to sine theta over 2 plus theta over 2 and this is the double angle formula which is 2 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2 whereas for cos theta the double angle formula or um, it is known as half angle formula as well both are the same actually so cos theta we wrote it in another form which is 2 cos squared theta over 2 minus 1 and then we substitute both of these into the original equation and we obtain 1 plus 2 cos squared theta over 2 minus 1 equals to 2 times root 3 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2 and we further simplify the equation and we obtain 2 cos squared theta over 2 equals to 2 times root 3 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2 which then gives cos theta over 2 equals to root 3 sine theta over 2 or cos theta over 2 equals to 0 so there will be two solutions so let's first of all solve the left hand side one so we move the sign to the did the other side or the cost of the other side and we obtain tangent theta over 2 equals to 1 over root 3 and then the inverse tangent will let us obtain the theta over 2 equals to pi over 6 and we get theta equals to pi over 3 whereas for the other one the right hand side one theta equals to pi all right 
So the curve meets at two points. The first one is at pi over 3 and the second one is at pi. And we plug in both theta into the original equation and we obtain r, which is 3 over 2 and 0. So remember that we need to write the intersection points in terms of polar coordinates with the left hand side being r and the right hand side being theta and we don't write them in terms of x and y so this is how we write the coordinates in terms of polar coordinates for the third part of this question we want to find the area contained between the two curves so to find the area contained between these two curves we need to first draw out the graphs and then separate them into two portions so we will draw a line op where p is the intersection point and o is another intersection point between the two curves and the line will separate the two sections so that we can obtain the area separately so the shaded area the red one in the diagram is bounded by the curve r equals to root 3 sine theta and the two radii or the angles of theta equals to 0 and theta equals to pi over 3 and this two will be the boundary of finding this area so the area will be half times the integration of root 3 sine theta squared d theta whereas for the white part the shaded part it is associated with the curve r equals to 1 plus cos theta and the boundary lies between pi over 3 and pi so we can say this white shaded area is half times the integration of 1 plus cos theta squared d theta and with the boundaries pi over 3 and pi so the area contained between the two curves is the summation of these two separated areas the red and the white so when we add them up the red part can be simplified into half times the integration of 3 sine squared theta d theta while the white part can be simplified into half times the integration of 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta d theta. which then equals to 3 over 2 times the integration of half times 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta plus half times the integration of 1 plus 2 cos theta plus half times cos 2 theta plus 1 d theta. Make sure you know how to convert the double angle formula or the half angle formula well. And then next is we can now perform the integration since there are no squared values in our equation. So we get 3 over 4 times theta minus half times sine 2 theta plus half times 3 over 2 theta plus 2 sine theta plus 1 over 4 sine 2 theta. And then we plug in the boundaries they have separate boundaries if you can see one is pi over 3 and 0 the other one is pi and pi over 3 but they are continuous and you get a simplified value of 3 pi over 4 minus 3 root 3 over 4 and that is the area contained between the two curves That's all for today's video. 
if you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.